Okay, we are live now. Alright, so insyaAllah, bismillahirrahmanirrahim, kita akan mula. Okay, so for this chapter, I mean for this session, we're going to continue with this uh, last sub-chapter of this chapter, which is 6.3, Light Independent Reaction. Okay, so what we had uh, previously on our previous uh, session is... Um, we have learned together about light dependent reaction. Okay, so light dependent reaction. Okay, so I don't need to scroll much for other slides. Actually, if you refer to this slide, this is the whole process of photosynthesis. The, the whole entire process of photosynthesis where it comprises light dependent, which is this one. And this one, the one that I'm circulating right now is light independent reaction. Okay, so actually both of these processes uh, can occur simultaneously at the same time. Um, but of course, being the light dependent reaction, it only can take place during the day. But for this light independent reaction, it does not mean it can only take place during the night or without the presence of light. It also can presence during the day itself. It is just that it does not require light. Uh, korang faham bahasa Inggeris tu? Okay, pendek cerita dua-duanya boleh, boleh aku serentak. Yang uh, uh, yang being the light dependent reaction ni, of course lah hanya berlaku pada waktu siang saja, where the where presence of with the presence of sunlight. Whereas for this light independent reaction ni, dia boleh berlaku pada waktu malam yang tak ada cahaya. Okay, and even pada waktu siang pun juga because it can occurs at any time uh, because uh, it, it just that dia tak perlukan cahaya. Uh, macam tu. Okay, so the the uh, part that we're going to discuss is this one, light independent reaction. So, light independent reaction ni namanya adalah Kelvin cycle. Dia ada juga nama lain lah, but the term, the name that we prefer to use is Kelvin cycle. And it takes place in stroma, iaitu cecair dekat dalam chloroplast tersebut. Alright. So here are the here is the learning outcome. So you need to be able to describe the three phases in Kelvin cycle. Okay. So dalam Kelvin cycle ni yang satu sekitaran yang one flow of cycle ni actually it comprises of three cycles. Ada tiga cycle. What are the cycles? Carbon fixation, reduction, and regeneration of RUBP. Uh, apa RUBP tu? Soon we're going to look onto that one. Okay, so here are the input for Kelvin cycle. You are going to require, you guys going to need, bukan you guys, the plant obviously, carbon dioxide, ATP, and NADPH. Okay, one more time, I like to highlight this one. It is NADPH that we use in photosynthesis. The one that we use in cellular respiration is NADH. Don't get confused, cluttered your mind with it and don't be uh, mixed up between those two. When it is photosynthesis, nama pun P pun kan, photosynthesis, it requires NADPH by coincidence lah. Nama ada huruf P dekat situ pada photosynthesis. Orang guna yang start word pada huruf P juga. Okay, so but that is how you memorize it. So whenever you guys are dealing with photosynthesis, remember to use NADPH. PH. Okay, the the function and um, uh, its action is similar. Uh, the same with NADH. Okay. So from this Kelvin cycle, we can see the output. The output is G3P. Okay, what is G3P? Okay, glyceraldehyde triphosphate. So um, glyceraldehyde triphosphate is a three carbon uh, molecule. So the other three carbon. And daripada sini lah nanti, dia akan jadi product of photosynthesis. <coughs> okay. So, light, depend, light independent reaction is known as Kelvin cycle or also known as C3 pathway. Okay. Why it is called as C3 pathway? Because um, the molecule that is being uh, produced uh, after the carbon is being fixed adalah carbon, uh, molecule with three carbon. So, it is C3 pathway. Okay, occurs in the stroma of chloroplast during daylight, but light energy is not required directly. Ah, macam saya dah cakap tadi tu, boleh berlaku pada waktu siang, boleh berlaku pada waktu malam. Point saya dekat sini adalah, even though point, ah, uh, even though in this statement dikata dia berlaku pada daylight juga, ah, uh, tapi light energy is not required. Maksud dia macam ni. Kenapa dia occurs during the daylight juga? Mainly and mostly because logic lah. You can you see this? Okay, this diagram over here. So. Um, whenever there is a supply of ATP and NADPH, it will it will cause it will menyebabkan this um, light independent reaction to 
kicks in mana dia akan start uh, bila, bila ada supply ATP ada energy page so dia akan uh, dia akan buat proses ini and of course you also need to um, take note over here it requires CO2 bila nak ada supply of CO2 also during the day why during the day because stomata opens apa itu stomata? Remember, leaf. Okay, dekat leaf daun tu, bawah tadi uh, stomata yang control the opening tu, uh, uh, air opening tu. So, bila stomata terbuka pada waktu siang, baru dah dia boleh ambil CO2 dan dia akan release oksigen. Uh, so, that is why juga sebenarnya kat sini dia cakap occur uh, during daylight. Uh, tapi light energy tak diperlukan directly. Maksudnya directly tu tidak secara langsung. So, siapa yang perlukan uh, cahaya matahari? This light reactions, light dependent reaction. Okay. It requires only CO2 reduced to uh, organic molecule via carbon fixation. Okay, we're going to look onto this step soon. Okay, NADPH later will be reduced to NADP plus. Oops, sorry, NADP plus. And it is called, uh, NADPH ni adalah reducing agent. Ha, ha, ha. Apa itu reducing agent? Dia sendiri akan mengalami oxidation sebab dia lah yang akan hilang hydrogen ion tu. Nampak asalnya daripada NADPH, dia hilang H tu menjadi NADP+. So, bila dia ni hilang loss of electrons, dia mengalami oxidation. Dia tu mengalami oxidation. Dia menyebabkan orang lain reduced. Maksudnya dia, dia, dia bagi dekat orang lain. So, bila orang lain tu uh, dapat um, it's being reduced lah. Sebab tu dia adalah agent apa? Reducing agent. Dia adalah agent yang menyebabkan orang lain mengalami reduction. Ha, dia paksa orang lain terima. Ha, okay. So, nama lain juga bagi NADPH ni adalah electron carrier. Dia yang bawa elektron. Bagi ke orang elektron. Kalau NADP plus Electron acceptor Dia yang going to uh, What you call A trimmer Accept the electron soon Okay And ATP As the source of Energy Okay Ada orang nak cuba masuk Okay Saya dah provide Alright Eh sorry <coughs> Okay, so and then what is the importance of this cycle to convert carbon dioxide to complex organic compounds such as carbohydrates. So itulah tujuan utama dia. So apakah contoh-contoh product of photosynthesis ni for carbohydrates ni? Dia nak kena hasilkan glukos, uh, sucrose, dia nak kena hasilkan starch, dia nak kena hasilkan um, Uh, fruitus contoh macam all okay whenever you guys eat um, fruits sweet fruits ha contoh sweet fruits sweet fruits tu macam uh, fruit that taste sweet contoh macam mango apa semua tu semua tu ada deposits of sugar uh, of course so um, where does it come from from photosynthesis because the the fruit itself dia tak menyalakan photosynthesis by itself ha macam tu alright so menarik kan alright so Here we're going to look at Kelvin cycle yang akan menghasilkan sugar dan daripada sugar tu dia akan simpan dekat dalam buah untuk bagi korang makan. Uh, okay. So yang susah payah tu pokok, yang manis-manis tu korang. Uh, okay. So now we look at Kelvin cycle. Yes, uh, it will this this plants uh, akan mengalami proses fotosintesis yang banyak step yang pening. Uh, untuk kemudahan siapa? Kesedangan siapa? Kesedapan siapa? Uh, korang. Korang tahu sedap ni kan? Sekarang korang rasa lah susahnya sikit untuk... Um, Tahulah uh, how do you got the sugar in your fruits? Uh, okay, not just fruits, uh, other uh, other other foods as well, such as uh, rice dan sebagainya. Of course. Okay, so the the three phases are carbon fixation, reduction, and regeneration of carbon dioxide acceptor, which is called as RUBP. We're going to look onto that soon. Okay, so this is the entire cycle of Kelvin cycle. So you start with um, accepting carbon dioxide over here. Carbon dioxide will be combined or will be uh, uh, combined with uh, ribulose bisphosphate. Ah, yeah, nama RUBP tadi tu nama lah ribulose bisphosphate. Okay, I try to. Maximize this kejap. Okay, ribulose bisphosphate. And then uh, from this uh, combination of these two, it will produce a very short-lived intermediate. Mana intermediate yang sangat uh, sekejap tempoh hidup dia, tak ada nama pun. Ha, sebab, sebab soon after that, dia terus form uh, 3-phosphoglycerate. So it's a 3-carbon compound. Sekejap lagi kita akan share bagi kita secara detail. 
and then from this compound uh, sorry, from this molecule it will be converted into this molecule converted into this and from this molecule it will continue the cycle but what i want you to take note here is that <clears throat> the number of the molecule ada berapa molecule terlibat okay let us look one by one carefully over here me me okay the the number three over here it does not represent the number of the carbon the number of the carbon we know for carbon dioxide only satu sahaja but how many co2 is being required tiga ah uh. ah uh, all right okay so ada tiga so this three means three co2 bind with three rubp ah uh, that is what it meant okay and uh here short leaf intermediate how many short leaf intermediate is uh, is being produced here also three so basically we have a five carbon molecule okay one two three four five okay uh, this rbp have five carbon uh bind with one uh carbon from co2 bind jadi enam carbon kan ha so nampak ni dia jadilah one two three four five six this short leaf intermediate has six carbon but later soon enough is going to be split into two menjadi three carbon molecule namanya three phosphoglycerate but how many of these three carbon molecule ada enam why ada enam because you start with three three yang ada enam uh, three molecule yang ada enam carbon ni so each satu ni split jadi dua so daripada tiga jadilah enam Ah, macam tu. But later, I promise I'm going to show you a very short video that I hope you're going to under makes your understanding better. Okay, then from here it converted to and the cycle will continue. And wh why do we need to have uh, six? And why are we talking about six molecules? Because after glycerate, okay, after this step over here, at the, after at the end, uh, beginning of phase uh, phase two, which is reduction, we have Six gly six glycerol dehydrate phosphate atau pun short form dia G3P. So kita ada enam molecules of G3P. So daripada enam molecules of G3P, only five will proceed akan meneruskan in into the Kelvin cycle. We will proceed the journey in the Kelvin cycle. Whereas the other one, only one, will exit the cycle. Dia akan keluar daripada cycle tu to become the product of the photosynthesis over here. Nampak? G3P ni. So, uh, this G3P consists of three carbon. What will it be? Uh, what will it become? It will become uh, glucose and other organic compounds. So, when it's stated here, other organic compounds, it can turn to be other molecules such as uh, perhaps uh, fructose, uh, sucrose, then uh, starch later forming a much more complex structure which is starch and etc. Okay. All right. So we look at step number one. Okay. So here is the detail of step number one. So we have um, one carbon, <coughs> uh, one carbon, sorry, carbon dioxide with one carbon, okay, entering the cycle, masuk cycle. We use the term fixed. Ah, fix tu maknanya dia digabungkan lah, dicantumkan lah with RUBP. So, satu CO2 gabung dengan satu RUBP menjadi satu uh, short-lived intermediate with having six carbon and that six carbon uh, being split into half menjadi three carbon molecule, nama dia three phosphoglycerate. But since we're going to uh, require three CO2, sebab tu nama dia isi tiga, campur tiga, jadi tiga si and totalnya enam. Don't worry again. We will go to the go through the short video after this. Okay. So Kelvin cycle incorporates one carbon dioxide at each cycle. Mana dekat setiap satu cycle tu dia masuk ke satu 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 sampai dah cukup ada tiga. Ah then akan proceed seterusnya. Okay. So then step. Okay carbon fixation plan. Ni ayat dia. Okay, tadi tu saya berangan-perangan secara bahasa pasal lah. So, ini ayat-ayat uh, formal dia. CO2 combined with 5 carbon sugar molecule which is ribulose bisphosphate. So, ejaan dia macam ni. And ni adalah nama simbol dia. Simbol dia nak ditulis RUBP ni mesti semua huruf besar except the small letter U. And please take note again, it is bisphosphate. Bukannya bi, bukannya di dan sebagainya. Okay, I know certain references might uh, have different spelling or different term but this is the term that we use for matriculation syllabus. Bisphosphate. 
Okay, and then it is catalyzed. Uh, I mean, this process nak cantumkan carbon dioxide dengan RBP ni is catalyzed by an enzyme. What is the name of the enzyme? Namanya adalah Rubisco. This is the short form of the name of the enzyme. Okay, but you must be able to know and write the full name of the enzyme which is, ini nama dia, RUBP. So, dia nak catalyze ke RUBP kan? RUBP, carboxylase dash oxygenase. Please remember this name. Okay, and this uh, style of writing juga cara nak tulis dia. Carboxylase, carboxylase dash oxygenase. Okay, so then this will form a six carbon intermediate that is short-lived because it is unstable. Dia tak stable. So, pendek cerita Uh, CO2 campur RBP jadilah 6 carbon intermediate that is short lived and unstable it is catalyzed by Rubisco okay and then the 6 carbon intermediate immediately splits into uh, in half forming two molecules of 3 phosphoglycerate ataupun nama short formnya PGA with a 3 carbon each okay along the process you may encounter certain names and terms that are similar or familiar to your ears similar to what similar to cellular respiration yeah dalam cellular respiration especially dalam glycolysis we have these names juga we also have three phosphoglycerate one should be phosphoglycerate we also have glycerol you had two phosphate as well so um don't get confused so my quick hint is My quick hint is that the reverse, slightly reverse. Ah, uh, dalam uh, cellular respiration tu kan, you guys start with this dulu step number six, blah blah blah, macam tu. Ah, uh, alright. Uh, try to compare with glycolysis. So my my instruction, uh, my my hint to you is that you can start to compare with uh, side by side. Tengok sebelah sebelah. Okay, glycolysis macam macam ni nama dia. This chemical cycle macam 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 ni nama dia. Ah, uh, so you will notice the difference and you will be be more alerted next time. Okay, so then um, there is the first step, uh, I mean first phase which is uh, carbon fixation. All right. And then, jadi besar sangat. Okay, <clears throat> reduction phase number two. So, three phosphoglycerate tadi yang uh, after short lift tu dah split into half tu yang jadi three phosphoglycerate. The three phosphoglycerate will be phosphorylated by ATP forming one three This phosphoglycerate. Cara tulis dia macam ni. Okay, what happened here? Okay, remember the term phosphorylated and please use this term. Okay, phosphor, okay, de-phosphorylated, kalau saya tambah DE dekat depan, means kita buang phosphate. If phosphorylated means kita tambah phosphate dekat dia. So, siapa nak bagi phosphate dekat dia? ATP. Where does this ATP comes from? Eh, kau dah lupa ke? Dah tak ingat ke? Ha, check-check balik dekat sini. This is the ATP that is being produced as produced as supplied by the light-dependent reaction. So, dia bagi ATP untuk diguna dekat sini oleh by the Kelvin cycle. So, that's now, that, that's how and why you can see the involvement of ATP over here. Uh, function dia, ATP ni ATP ni nak bagi satu phosphate dekat 3 phosphoglycerate supaya namanya sekarang jadi 1,3 bis phosphoglycerate, BIS ya so kenapa namanya 1,3 bis phosphoglycerate so kalau dapat teka lah the position of the of the phosphate itu is placed at carbon number 1 and carbon number 3 as being depicted here to, eh, so ni, so ni adalah dia buah dekat carbon number 1 and ini adalah carbon number 3 so 1, 3, bis, phosphor, glycerate so you also can see 6 ATP is being ah uh, ayat saya macam ni ATP being de-phosphorylated so dia hilang phosphate ah uh, to become ADP Ah uh, ayat lain yang korang boleh pakai korang terangkan ini pula phosphor, three phosphoglycerate phosphorylated to become this. Yang dia ni de-phosphorylated to become this. Ha, macam tu. Okay. Eh, I've gone through this slide. Eh, no, I haven't. Okay, so this is a continuation. Oh, sorry. Uh, ya, yang kau bawah. Ayat atas dah. Bawah ni belum. <coughs> okay. Each 1,3 bis phosphoglycerate later will be reduced by an ADPH and loses a phosphate group to form glyceraldehyde three phosphate. So basically, this step is over with, uh, over here. So tadi kita 
saya bang ni jadi ini. Now we are talking about this one becoming this one. One three bis phosphor glycerate becoming glyceraldehyde three phosphate. Okay, so each one three bis phosphor glycerate tadi tu did being reduced by NADPH. Okay, reduce. Reduce tu apa? Oil rig, oil rig. Reduction is gain. Oh, okay. Ada yang masih masuk. Oil rig. So, reduction is gaining of electron dan hydrogen ion. So, maknanya kita tahu 1,3-bis-phosphoglycerate ni reduce maknanya dia gain, dia dapat hydrogen. Ha, dia dapat hydrogen ion. Okay. Untuk jadi apa? Untuk jadi glyceraldehyde 3-phosphate. Okay. And also, <coughs> NADPH ni reduced by NADPH and they also will loses a phosphate group to form glyceraldehyde three phosphate okay ah <coughs> dan kita juga cakap NADPH is oxidized to NADP plus sebab dia hilang uh, hydrogen ion tu tadi dan juga dia hilang elektron okay so dekat sini uh, loses a phosphate group tu tengok kan asalnya phosphate ada dekat carbon number 1 and carbon number 3 but now dia hanya ada dekat carbon number 3 sahaja so yang carbon number 1 tu dia dah dia dah, dia dah buang phosphate dia tu ha uh, okey to become inorganic phosphate lah maknanya yang in, bila saya cakap inorganic phosphate maknanya phosphate yang uh, yang ada uh, bukan terapung berada berlegar-legar di sekitar di dalam stroma tersebut okey So, uh, what else do I need to tell over here? Ah, uh, kenapa? Okay. So, you might be wondering. So, tadi asalnya kan saya confuse sikit lah kat sini. Macam ni. Saya confuse. Saya besarkan sikit. Dia asalnya tiga carbon compound, sir. Lepas tu tambah phosphate jadi 1,3-bis-phosphoglycerate. Bila kita buang balik phosphate-nya, kenapa dia namanya tak sama jadi macam 3-phosphoglycerate? Yelah, kan tiga phosphate tam eh sorry um 3 phosphoglycerate ada satu phosphate okey so tiga karbon dengan satu phosphate nama dia 3 phosphoglycerate Le lepas tu kita tambah dua phosphate saya faham lah sir eh tambah satu phosphate saya faham lah sir jadi dia nama dia 1 3 bis phosphoglycerate sebab so, sebab so phosphate tu ada dekat carbon number 1 dan carbon number 3 lah ni kita buang yang nombor dekat carbon number 1 ni kenapa nama dia tak sama dengan yang atas ni ha, don't forget there is an additional process over here NADPH bagi hydrogen ion dekat dia sebab tu nama tak sama so apa beza antara 3 phosphoglycerate dengan glyceraldehyde 3 phosphate ni of course dekat sini dia ada extra hydrogen ion so namanya tak sama serupa tapi tak sama okey kita besar pula okey wait so itulah dia okey so the the NADP plus and and dan ADP uh, formed in this process return to the thylakoids to be regenerate to uh, to uh, sorry to regenerate NADPH and ATP in the light dependent reaction so maksudnya nampak ni tadi kan dalam kelvin cycle ni dia bagi balik ADP dan inorganic phosphate dia juga bagi balik dia pulang semula NADP plus untuk kegunaan keperluan oleh A apa ni light dependent reaction ni tadi Okay, so if I would try to connect the 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 apa ni, uh, the harmony of between these two processes and masuk harmony tu apakah perlu apa dia dependence ni kan? Cerita dia pendek dia macam ni. <coughs> okay, pokok ni bila dia buat fotosintesis dia perlu hasilkan ini sukros. Remember dalam bentuk sukros dan dia juga akan hasilkan oksigen. Okay, dia akan perlukan water and sunlight and carbon dioxide. So, what happen is that so dalam light dependent reaction dekat sini air ditukarkan kepada water I mean, uh, oxygen with the help of the sunlight and we have learned the process along the way before ni dan dia memerlukan NADP plus dan ADP. Kalau Katalah soalan tu dia cakap what will happen kalau pokok tu diberikan racun yang di mana racun itu akan memberhentikan ataupun menghalang proses Kelvin cycle. Kelvin cycle. What will happen to the plant? Jawapan je mudah. I mean you need to start your answer with there is no ADP and inorganic phosphate to be cycle or to be supplied kepada dia ni and there will be no NADP plus being supplied to the light reaction. 
Why? Sebab apa? Sebab tak ada siapa nak tukarkan ATP jadi uh, dan ATP jadi ADP. Tak ada siapa nak tukarkan NADPH jadi NADP+. Ah ha, macam tu gitu. So bila tak ada reaction ni pun tak boleh berlaku. So fotosintesis pun tak boleh nak berlaku lah juga. Ha, so macam tu eh So sekarang kita dah faham lah Dan apa akan jadi? Oh ATP dan NADPH jumlahnya sangat tinggi Sebab tak ada siapa nak pakai dia ha, Macam tu Okay The question can be twisted uh, into that way Okay So for every Now we're going to talk about the numbers So for every three carbon molecules That enter the cycle There are six molecules of G3P formed Maksudnya kat sini Tengok ni Setiap tiga CO2 yang masuk Dia akan uh, fixed uh, with uh, RUB Tiga RUBP by Rubisco Okay dengar saya sebab baik eh Three CO2 fixed with Dia digabungkan dengan ini Bukan dia bergabung dengan Rubisco Three CO2 fixed with RUBP by oleh siapa? Oleh the enzyme that catalyzes the reaction. Name of the enzyme is Rubisco. Nama penuhnya ribulose bis R3. RUBP carbo, uh, carboxylase oxygenase. Uh, okay. Menjadi ini, ini dan ini. So, setiap tiga ni, tiga CO2 dan tiga RUBP akan hasilkan enam uh, 3-phosphor glycerate. Okay, but only one molecule of G3P is continue is counted as a net gain of carbohydrate. Uh, Sanya satu je yang keluar untuk hasilkan carbohydrate. Whereas, the other five molecules of G3P required in the regeneration of RUBP molecules. Iaitu ia telah fasa ketiga lah untuk regenerate semula RUBP ni. Kenapa nak regenerate semula? Oh, kalau tak ada RUBP, macam nak continue the next cycle? Ah, uh, Okay. <coughs> Sekarang kita dekat regeneration of CO2 Except ini adalah fasa ketiga <coughs> Okay Through a complex series of enzymatic reactions Mak ni nak cakap dekat sini Dia adalah beberapa step dekat sini Yang memerlukan uh, A complex ini yang memerlukan enzyme reaction Daripada 5 molecules of G3P ni Dia akan rearrange to generate 3 molecules of RUP Jadi saya akan explain and this uh, and also it requires three ATP molecules in this phase and RUBP ready to enter the cycle again. Okay, look at here carefully. Jom, saya besarkan. Okay, take it easy. Count the number of the carbon. Okay, so we have here a G3P with three carbon. So ada berapa G3P? There are five G3P. Kalau satu G3P ada tiga carbon, berapa carbon semuanya? Kita ada total 15 carbon, 15 carbon. Okay, so I repeat one more time again. G3P is a 3 carbon compound, a 3 carbon molecule. So 3 carbon molecule ni uh, ada berapa G3P? Ada 5, 5 darab 3, 15. So total ada 15 carbon. So kita susun, 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 rearrange, rearrange, rearrange. I mean by several series of uh, enzyme iteration. Okay, dan pakai 3 ATP hasilnya adalah 3 molecules of RUBP. Yang ni mana RUBP ni ada 5 carbon compound. It's a 5 carbon molecule. Ha. So, jumlah carbonnya tetap sama juga. 15 juga. Ha. So, dia hasilkan 3 ketul tapi setiap ketul tu 5, 5, 5. Jumlah 15 lah. Ha. Macam tu. Okay. So, itulah masuk ayat dekat sini. Alright. And uh, next synthesis of, oh, sorry. Net synthesis of 1G3P So, Kelvin cycle uh, Dia akan turn 3 kali ha, Maknanya Untuk hasilkan satu saja G3P ni Cycle ni perlu pusing 3 kali 1, 2, 3 Dia perlukan 3 turns Okay Eh, sorry um, It uses 3 CO2 9 ATP dan 6 NADPH Kenapa ada, sorry Kenapa ada uh, 9 ATP Kita kira dekat sini Over here dia dah perlukan 6 ATP Over here it requires another 3 ATP And it requires 6 NADPH over here Why 6? Remember, kita ada 6 molecules of 1,3-bis-phosphoglycerate uh, So, tu kita perlukan 6 NADPH Okay and please take note of the number ya tengok and 6 and the uh, okay uh, is re uh, jap saya tambah kat sini wait sorry saya tersalah paste hang on a little bit okay ini saya nak tampal eh where am i just now 
wait ya yeah, here saya tambah kat sini Ah, okay, so tambah kat sini So, <coughs> kita tahu kat sini Please use this term Kita tak nak lagi cakap uh, 6NADPH converted NADPH Boleh, tapi kena mention juga NADPH kalau dia hilang Ni nampak loss Kita akan cakap dalam proses oxidation So, ayat yang lebih baik adalah NADPH oxidized to become Sorry, 6NADPH Oxidized to become 6NADP plus ha, Kan cantik sikit je apa tu Oil break, remember Oxidation is loss of hydrogen ion or electrons Okay So we've done with this one We also go on to this one Okay, so dia perlukan 6 NADPH G3P produced by Calvin cycle Okay, dia akan become the starting materials For metabolic pathway to produce Carbohydrate, amino acid and lipid juga ha, Sebab kat sini lah dia akan hasil carbohydrate, amino acid dan lipid So for this one ni easy je lah Synthesis of one glucose Dia akan perlukan berapa cycle ha, Glucose ada berapa carbon? Glucose ada 6 carbons So bila 6 carbon tengok Ini G3P ni tadi hanya ada 3 carbon So dia perlukan 2 ketul G3P So, 3 carbon, 3 carbon. So, kalau nak hasilkan 1 G3P, perlu 3 kali pusing. Kalau kita nak hasilkan 2 G3P untuk hasilkan 1 glukos, berapa kali pusing? Jawapan dia 6 kali pusing. Ah, Boleh faham? Saya ulang lagi sekali. Ini G3P ni baru ada 3 carbon. Bila kita nak buat glukos, glukos dia ada 6 carbon. So, maksudnya kita perlukan 2 ketul Um, dua ketul G3P ni tadi ha, Nampak? So bila kita Kalau nak asalkan seketul G3P ni dah pusing Tiga kali So kalau kita nak dua G3P pusing berapa kali? Dia pusing enam kali So jawapannya six turns So it will uses how many CO2 Kalau satu turn One turn uses this, this uh, Sorry, kalau three turns use this, this and this Kalau six turns berapa? Taraplah dua semua ni Ah, gitu. So, we've come to the end of this um, Kelvin cycle. So, maknanya juga kita dah habis chapter photosynthesis. Alright. So, insyaAllah. Um, this uh, this diagram is a very good diagram for the overall summary of photosynthesis uh, by focusing on the Kelvin cycle itself. So, kita akan nampak phase 1, carbon fixation. Apa maksud carbon fixation? CO2 ni is being fixed dengan ini. Uh, CO2 tu being fixed. Okay. So, ini adalah ni. Phase 2 reduction. Ini yang biru gelap ni adalah phase 3 regeneration of RUBP. Okay. Um, apa lagi saya nak cakap? Okay. Dia, tadi saya awal saya dah mention kan. Uh, nama lain bagi Kevin Cycle ni adalah C3 pathway kan. Kenapa? Sebab first product dia which is this one adalah 3 carbon compound. So, the 3 carbon molecule. So, saya cakap satu dengan compound. Okay. So, sekarang ni seperti yang janjikan saya akan tunjuk video dekat korang. So, how I'm going to run this session. Saya akan bagi korang tengok video ini. Saya akan play one time. Lepas saya akan play lagi sekali with my own voice, with my own instruction. Okay. First, tengok sahaja dulu. Okay. Calvin cycle. The process of Calvin cycle takes place inside the stroma of chlorophyll. It is also known as light in the process. Solar energy is composed of various colors. The Kelvin cycle consists of a series of reactions that reduce carbon dioxide to produce the carbohydrate glycerol dehydes 3 phosphate. The cycle consists of three steps carbon fixation, reduction, and regeneration. The first step is carbon fixation. In this step, carbon dioxide is attached to ribulose 1, 5 biphosphate, resulting in a 6 carbon molecule that splits into two 3 carbon molecules. The second step is sequence of reactions using electrons from NADPH and some of the ATP to reduce carbon dioxide.
in the third step, ribulose 1,5-biphosphate is regenerated. For every steps of the cycle, five molecules of glycerol-dehydes, three phosphate, are used to reform three molecules of ribulose 1, 5 biphosphate. The remaining glycerol dehyde 3 phosphate is then used to make glucose, fatty acids, or glycerol. It takes two molecules of glycerol dehydes 3 phosphate to make one molecule of glucose phosphate. Thus, Calvin cycle has to run six times to produce one molecule of glucose. Glucose phosphate is also the starting molecule for the synthesis of starch and sedatives. Okay, so I'm going to run again this video, but this time with my own voice narration. Okay, so I'm going to put it on to mute. Okay, so let's play the video again. All right, so Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. So this video is trying to tell you that um, uh, this is a process of photosynthesis focusing on the light independent reaction. Um, so you can see here, tadi. <coughs> Okay, so dia perlukan carbon dioxide, water and energy which is the sunlight. So, this sunlight ni kita tahulah dia akan later absorb, uh, absorb the photon of light. Semua tu kan green, yellow. Semua tu dipantulkan balik except green yang, uh, sorry, semua tu diabsorb except green. Okay, so ni adalah dalam sel tersebut. Dalam sel tu ada organ dalam chloroplast. Dalam chloroplast ada, ni lah thylakoid. So, wait, apa laju soal dia ni? Aku ingat cakap laju. Okay, so this is the thylakoid inside the inside the chloroplast. So this is the mem this is the thylakoid membrane. So dalam thylakoid ni namanya thylakoid space. So yang gelap gelap macam pikiran orang tu gelap gelap ni ni adalah stroma. So what is this um lightning strikes ni? So this is photons of light. Ah, okay. So photons of light akan digunakan oleh light dependentation. But itu bukan apa kita nak bincang sekarang because title uh, title things yang kita nak bincang sekarang adalah Kelvin Cycle. Uh, so, Kelvin Cycle ni pasal light independent reaction. Okay, kita tengok lagi. <coughs> Alright, so here dia akan, dia akan dia bagi tahu korang. So, macam yang saya cakap yang saya ajar sebelum ni lah. Sama je, nothing new. Okay. So, it's just that I want to show you guys. So, daripada RBP, ha, seketul RBP ni, dia akan fix dengan seketul, uh, saya cakap seketul untuk bagi korang. Actually, one molecule of carbon dioxide fixed with one molecule of uh, RBP to form the short-lived intermediate. This is the short-lived intermediate. And remember this process, I mean this, uh, yeah, this process is catalyzed by the enzyme, nama enzyme tu adalah Rubisco. Nama penuhnya adalah RUBP carboxylase oxygenase. Uh, carboxylase dash oxygenase, nama penuh dia. Okay. And then korang tengok, eh, yeah, start play. And then korang tengok, yeah. So it splits into half, into two. Ah, eh, 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 laju ya. Wait. Okay, so this split into adik lah unstable. Ah, so they can uh, split into half. Ah, okay. So bila split into half, okay. Please take note number here. So daripada satu, now dah jadi dua. So daripada dua ni, perlukan dua ATP and dah hasilkan, akan hasilkan dua molecules of 1,3-bisphosphoglycerate over here. And it also will require 2 NADPH and 2 in the first bit. But this cycle will continue sekali, dua kali, tengok. Nombor dia jadi empat. Why empat? Because this is the second carbon yang buat kerja dengan the second um, RBP tadi. Ha, so, jadi empat lah kat sini. Ha. So, pusing. Now, jadi empat pula. Jadi empat kat sini. Faham tak sampai sini kat empat? Maksudnya, tadi dah buat dua kan? Dah dua. So, the second turn, dua, the second turn, dua, jadi empat dah lah. Hmm. Now, dia akan jadi 6 pula kejap lagi. Tengok. Haa, pasal ada tambah tu. Totalnya 6 dah yang dah berlaku kat sini. Okay. Ha, so, daripada 6 ni, ha, hanya 5 saja yang continue. Satu yang akan keluar sebagai produk. Haa, ni. Dia tambah lah. Okay. Oh, sorry. Ha. Okay. So, apa gini nak cakap kat sini. Haa. So, uh, yang ini akan chip uh, one chip bisphosphate glycerate uh, bisphosphate ni akan continue. Uh, so, yang ini nak cakap daripada Kelvin cycle. Okay, jadi ah ini saya nak cakap tadi. Jadi glukos. So, ini adalah satu G3P tadi. So, kita perlukan dua G3P untuk hasilkan glukos. Sebab tengok lah glukos ada berapa kabin? One, two, three, four, five, six. Ha, glukos six phosphate. 
hmm. glucose phosphate hmm. so nak hasilkan uh, sugar yang lain nak hasilkan sukrose kita perlukan dua okey so that's why kita kita dah cakap tadi dia perlukan six cycle kenapa perlukan six cycle apa six turns sebab nak hasilkan satu ni dah tiga i mean uh, sorry <coughs> ayat betul three turns ini another three turns jumlahnya berapa turns six turns uh, okey so untuk dia perlu dekat boleh jadikan starch dan other cellulose dan other molecules yang uh, other komponen-komponen yang lain okey so uh, itu sahaja that will be all for our session for this time alright so uh, insyaallah i'm going to stop the recording first uh, should you have any question you may ask me okey jap uh, saya nak stop recording dahulu Okay, so...